Welcome to episode 1058, Michael Kim, private equity billionaire from South Korea. This is an outline of episode 1058. Let us meet Michael Kim. Where we are proving the thesis that you can make money uh, doing buyouts in Asia. The markets that I operate in uh, North Asia, that is China, Japan, Korea, I think certainly buyouts have been proved and certainly the economy, the gravity, uh, center of gravity of the economy has shifted and with that, with demographics, with rapid corporate expansion uh, and liquidity in both the credit and equity markets, particularly private equity markets, um, I think Asia is now uh, a very important market and certainly uh, is holding its own as the third leg in the U.S., Western Europe, uh, Asia tripod for private equity. He was born in 1964 to wealthy parents in Seoul, South Korea. His parents sent him to boarding school in the United States. In 1985, at the age of 21, he graduated with a degree in English from Haverford College. Pennsylvania. In 1990, he earned an MBA from Harvard Business School and also received a Fulbright scholarship afterwards. His first job after Harvard, he was a merger and acquisition banker at Goldman Sachs. He later joined the Carlyle Group, a private equity firm, as the president of Carlyle Asia. Western style private equity really took hold uh, with the Asia financial crisis. Uh, with my former employer, employer uh, we did one of the first large buyouts. It was uh, a buyout of uh, the distressed bank in Korea called Koran Bank. Then uh, a big amount of fresh capital recapitalized and turned around the banks. Those banks in turn provided much needed liquidity, credit liquidity, uh, to industry in Korea. So I think those two deals were landmark deals that both um, ushered in, that both um, highlighted uh, the Asia financial crisis, but ushered in a new era of Western style buyouts in Asia. In 2005, he co-founded MPK Partners. MPK stands for Michael Bunju Kim. China is the promised land for private equity. Where the global economy is headed. Um, you're talking in the markets that I cover and invest in, uh, North Asia, China, Japan, Korea. Those represent the numbers two, three, and 13 largest GDPs in the world. As goes North Asia, will go the rest of the global economy. On, the, on Josh's point about price arbitrage, uh, the great thing about China, and this is why it's the promised land for uh, private equity folks like us, uh, there are still great pricing inefficiencies. We just bought a, a logistics business for about seven and a half times EBITDA in an industry where the comms trade at around 14 times. In 2021, Michael Kim, only 57 years old, is a very rich man. He turned part-time novelist. He wrote an autobiographical novel called The Offerings. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Michael Kim, Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.